it's kind of a cruddy day here in South Louisiana and uh, starting to do a little bit of work on the old hot rod. Um, a few weeks back I had a, uh, a moment where my available <laughs> torque overwhelmed my available skill, let's say, and I messed a few things up. Nothing major, but I'm now forced to get new wheels and tires, even though I've been thinking about it for a while. And I'm going to have to disassemble this side, get this quarter panel off, or rear fender, I guess, off, and then that running board to have them fixed up and repainted to uh, undo what I did. Anyway, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get a little bit of light, and we're going to go under this thing and take some measurements, because these are kind of weird. This tire size is a 255-70R15. They don't really make a lot of these tires anymore. And the clearance is pretty darn tight. And it fills the wheel well, real well. So I'm gonna go under there. These I believe are 15 eighths. They're eventually gonna pull that off and check the back spacing after I take all my dimensions. But as you can see, I really can't go any further out than this. So I may be able to add a half inch to an inch of backspacing and push a little wider tire in but the frame is square in there which we'll show you in a second and so we're gonna have to do something about that but uh, let me go get set up and then we'll get under the car all right so here's what we got and it, as you can see the way this thing's designed there is not too much room in there with this 15.8 on this back spacing. Now you can see the wheel, I've got a bit more room, but with the width of this tire, it doesn't, uh, doesn't inspire confidence that you can go a lot wider. You can definitely go wider with the wheel, but you cannot have this big poofy tire on it if you do it. You gotta keep, you gotta have a real tall but narrow tire to keep it out. Now, I can go with a tire that has a tread that's that wide, but the sidewall cannot roll out like this. So I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that. Because really, I mean, there's a little more room at the top as well, but the frame is the limiting factor here. That's not moving, because that's your box frame. So we're gonna take a quick dimension in here to see what my overall you know my max tire width is and then I'm gonna get in there and try to get a dimension from the wheel lip to the frame as well and see what we're gonna do if you know what what I have that one's not quite as important all right so I've got an inch and an eighth clearance here and right at about two inches from the wheel to the frame. So I may be able to go with a little wider wheel. Like I said, I believe this is a 15.8. Um, could be, but I don't think they make a 15.9. And since I can't go wider on the outside, you really can't go with a 15.10. Uh, I don't think because it's not it's just not going to be enough so what I may try to do is see if there's maybe a 16 inch wheel that might fit in here I mean any 16 inch would work but uh, now I got to take the wheel off and we're going to measure for backspacing just to confirm what this is I think I know what it is but we're going to confirm it all right so let's hope let's see if this is what it is we got five four five which matches what I've been told that it is a five on four and a half. <laughs> Interestingly though, this thing I think had acorn lug nuts on it. And I don't know that it was supposed to. Okay, but anyway. Uh, 
A little bit of schmoo in there, not bad. And I see a four here. So that could be my backspacing, but I'm going to confirm that. So the backspacing is measured from across this surface to here. So that's what we're going to measure right now. And it's always fun trying to find something that's going to fit across here while the wheel is on it, while the tire is on it, especially with as much sidewall bulge as this thing has. So here's something that kind of works for my 15. Now let's see what we got. Looks to be four inches. So that is what this is. This is a 15-8 with a four-inch back fresh with a four or with a five on four and a half bolt circle with this tire. So now I'm gonna write that down. And this tire size, as I said, was a 255 70 15. And I'm going to measure diameter, width, and circumference since I'm here. I guess the width, now that I have it sitting on the ground, we do something like that, and then take a drop from here to the ground, puts me at right about 10 and a half inches wide. So that ten and a half inches wide, that's where I can get away with a little bit more width because I have an inch and an eighth gap here. But what I have to be very careful of is there's not a lot of room on the other side. So if I go wider, you know, I can go 11 inches wide. But I have to go, if I go a half inch wider, I have to go a half inch more backspacing to do it. Well, actually, I mean, it technically would be better with a half inch wider wheel. Leave the front where it is and move the half, move that back. So you'd end up with a 15, eight and a half with a five on five back, no, uh, five, or the four and a half inch backspacing, which would set the front of the wheel where it's supposed to be and the inside of the wheel half inch back and take that other half inch that way. That's going to be the fun part of this. Now we're going to take a diameter and just eyeball it, basically. Yeah. Let's see what we can do here. One second. Okay, so this is eh, pretty close. Now we'll see what we got. And basically we're at like 28 and 5 eighths or so, maybe 28 and 3 quarters. All right. And I don't think the circumference matters a whole hell of a lot because the 28 and 3 quarters and the 10 and a half inch wide is the important stuff. So. Now that I got that done, I'm gonna go start looking around to see if I can find anything that's gonna match this setup, or maybe a little wider inside, but still keep basically the tire where it's supposed to be on the outside. So this ought to be entertaining. All right, so here's a twist. I've got a really old set of Centerline Convo Pros that I bought 
probably about 1995 for my drag car. And I used them up to the point I converted it to a burnout car. They are weird. Because the new Convo Pros they just came out with don't exist in this size. These are 15, 8 and a halfs with a 4 and 3 quarter backspacing. It allowed me to perfectly tuck a 20, uh, a 10 inch wide, a 10 and a half inch wide slick underneath stock suspension of an 80 Firebird. But, given the, the rim that I wanted to replace those was a 15, eight and a half by four and a half, these are pretty darn close. What I would need to do is use these and put a quarter inch spacer behind them and with this same style of tire, this 255 um, whatever and 70 and it will, it should work. So I may be able to actually use wheels I already have. Now if they're filthy, obviously would need some pretty good cleaning. But with some cleaning and put my bead locks back in them, of course, because of course you need those on the street. Heh. You know, it's a lot better than spending a thousand bucks for a new set of wheels, especially because I obviously can't drive. Let's see something. Come here. Yeah. Even the cap fits. Yeah. So that's given me something to think about, and that may be what I end up doing, because the tires, they're just truck tires. Because of this size, they're weird. Uh, they're not terribly expensive. Um, I may end up having to buy some matching fronts, because I have, I've got some 15.7s of, uh, Convo Pros that I had, but I've also got the, uh, I mean, who, who knows, I've also got the 15 fours that are still on the car. Woo, it's soggy. But yeah, I've still got the 15 fours, and who knows, I'll pull one of those off maybe once this silly rain stops and see what it would do under the front end of that car who knows we will see but yep so that's the saga of the slightly damaged hot rod and working on trying to figure out what i'm going to do for some new wheels and tires we will keep you posted